Hey there, YouTube. Ian CJ Holmes here. Well, once again, I apologize for uh, such a long time between videos on this Titanic wreck model uh, diorama build. Uh, I'm done. I uh, finished the uh, last minor details uh, this morning, just basically adding some more rusticles and uh, touching up uh, the paint job. But I'll give you a brief tour of the ship. It's going to be on sale uh, very soon on eBay. It'll be listed as a Titanic Rec Model Diorama 1350 scale. If uh, anyone's interested, uh, feel free to contact me uh, if you want to make some arrangements before I put it up on eBay. So, I'll give you a brief tour of the ship and uh, leave it at that. So we're on the port side, looking aft. Get in, zoom in on those reciprocating engines. zoom out a bit. I added to the stern portion the big piece which is on display in uh, Las Vegas and uh, along with this boiler I've added another boiler. Keep in mind that these aren't as close to the stern section as I depict them. They're uh, they're farther out, but I did want to add uh, some representative pieces of wreckage, and uh, this one represents the boiler that was first discovered in 1985, which led to the identification of the wreck. I added some rust holes there to the poop deck. Now we're looking forward. I'll switch the uh, pieces around so you can see it from the starboard side. Alrighty, so here we are looking at the starboard side now. People have asked, uh, why don't you show the damage that the ice did? And uh, frankly, uh, there isn't much to show at this scale. I have added uh, these little areas along here to uh, give an indication of where the ice damaged the hull. And we'll look aft toward the stern. Uh, when I do sell the kit, I am going to leave this section removable so that you can, the buyer can uh, see the details of the reciprocating engines. Go ahead and put that back on. Great. I've looked at uh, the recent uh, composite photographs <clears throat> that have been taken of the ship and it's amazing how since 1985 how flattened the stern section has become it's basically just the poop deck and then it's just flat almost to the seabed and then it raises up where the uh, engines are still 
standing. But even in 1985, the stern was a mess compared to uh, the bow section. Okay, let's uh, change views to a flyby over the ship. Alrighty, we're doing a flyby. And we're going to be going uh, from the bow to the stern. Give an indication of the details that are uh, on the model. There's the bridge and the telemotor. Number one funnel base. The expansion joint. And looking down the remnants of the grand staircase. Looking back, now we're over the gymnasium, the number two funnel base, the area where uh, the break occurred and the decks collapsed on each other. We'll swing our rover around so that you can get an idea of the boilers that are exposed. And we'll lift up again and go aft to the reciprocating engines, three quarters of which are still on their foundations. The forward low pressure boilers and their stanchions are scattered on the seabed. That's where number uh, four funnel would be. Second class elevator. And looking back toward the uh, rear well deck. We're actually looking down at D deck. C deck has been peeled away. You can see here the collapsed uh, rear mast and back to the poop deck. We'll lower ourselves to uh, just get a glimpse of the uh, propellers that have been shoved up resting against the hull. Gain some altitude here. Of course, we know the uh, stern and bow are not in this configuration. The stern section is about 2,000 feet away from the bow, and it's facing uh, toward New York, and the bow is facing back toward England. As I said, they're about 2,000 feet apart. If they were um, uh, if you were to put them on the floor, you'd need to set them about a little over five and a half feet, almost six feet away from each other, facing in opposite directions. And if you wanted to have a view comparable to uh, looking at the ship from the um, surface of the ocean, <clears throat> you'd need to climb the stairs of a three-story building and uh, look down from the top of the stairs that's the view you would have if the ocean wasn't in the way. All right, so there you go. There's my uh, model. Uh, it's been a pleasure uh, and a challenge, but a pleasure nevertheless in sharing these uh, videos with you. As I said, it will be on sale shortly. I don't know if and when I'll be making another uh, Titanic wreck. If so, I won't be doing a step-by-step -step on it. I'll just build it and uh, show the end results. So there you go. Thanks for uh, watching the series. Have a nice day.